Welcome to Collector RC. All right, we got a short one here. Uh, we're going to touch, this is basically episode two to the big push and uh, going through the upgrades and helping you guys save money. Um, as you can see here, this will show a bunch of just different driving styles. This one here, so there's the first few things that we talked about before in the last video, um, considering the parts you're going to do, the type of car you want, and your terrain that you're driving on. As you can see here, this is just a regular terrain. Um, grass with some steps and a little bit of uphill. Um, um, so a little bit of crawling involved. So this truck particularly is lifted and has very little anything mods to counter its weight. It basically doesn't have really anything to counter its weight. So you're going to see um, it's one of the first options. If you're going to go with the lift, which is the very like easiest first thing you can do when you get your car, um, you're going to see what will happen. And granted, the body's a little big too, but you'll see where <clears throat> the lift itself can hinder if you don't counter its its height ability. Um, and you'll actually see that real quick right here as we do a backup. I'm kind of just mul just driving in multiple different areas. Um, but this this part kind of reflects specifically, and you'll see a photo here um, on doing the lift. Now, granted, <clears throat> this is the Jeep, and this is just one of the upgrade parts you can do. Um, and it's basically a shock tower by Hot Racing. I, we do recommend, you know, making it so you can adjust your shocks to height and levels and makes it easier than you have multiple selections like you saw um, in comparison to doing the free. So if you want to save money, you can do the free. But this is just basically you have to understand that you're going to have some areas where you may um, it may hinder a little bit on you. So let's see if we can see one here that it will show. Uh, so you'll see a little bit here. It's still a little bit front heavy. Ah, it showed a little bit there, didn't it? <laughs> Other than that, it, it drives pretty well. So this right here is a little bit more towards like, um, your side. It doesn't, you can't really tell based on the camera uh, view. Uh, but this will also kind of go into now we're going to start talking about that counterweight. So the first part is just showing you um, what the lift does without having the counterweight. This is going to show you again without having that counterweight and having the lift um, what it's going to do. So in the counterweight, one of the first and easiest things we'd recommend is actually your diff covers. Um, hot racing diff covers, yeah, racing diff covers. I mean, <laughs> there's so many diff covers out there. Uh, you go from nine grams to 16 grams, to eight, I, I, even 19 to 20 grams, I believe you can, you can get them now. So, um, and you can see here where that little bit of weight would have carried me over these, this area. So I have to change my route, drive a different way. And this is, yeah, but there's a diff cover there again, that's the Jeep. So diff cover would be definitely one of the first things. I mean, the lift is the first thing you could do. And then if that's the direction you're going, and then the diff cover would be one of the first and easiest things to put on to counter the weight. And you can see here where weight is an issue. Now, yeah, you can crawl on top of stuff and I guess, you know, that stuff. But this is where like on the rock crawling where weight would really benefit you, especially up front. You can see here, there's, I'm just not going to be able to do this. Yeah. So, and then, you know, the next thing you, uh, you need to look at and you'll see here, um, basically to show some turns is upgrading your servos. Uh, there's a variety of servos out there. You can go extreme or you can go light. Um, I recommend personally the tower pro, if you can find the real one, you can see it at the bottom there. There's also the Emacs, and then there's some other brand servos you can get as well. But yeah, so those are the three things I would highly recommend. And like I said, this is a short video. So those are the first three steps you should probably consider.